Hey guys, it's Lane and Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the second video in the little set of videos we're doing on how to extract data from a point cloud in Trimble Realworks. And this is the same site that we were looking at before. It's a little uh, commercial site over in the Bay Area, California. And I've gone in and extracted a bunch of 3D brake lines. I showed you in the video how to use a limit box to pull some of the features out over here in this area along the front of the building that's a little more complicated. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract point data. The last video we did 3D brake lines. And so I'll show you how to do point data in this video. So let me show you how to do that. And you come over here to the drawing tab on the ribbon and we're going to go to feature set. It pulls up this dialog here. The index, that's your point number. So at my company, our points for uh, extracted data for UAV or, or laser scanning is in the 100,000 series range. So I'm going to start at 120,000. My code for this first set of points is going to be AC or asphalt concrete pavement. And then in the description, I'm going to just put uh, spot elevation. Okay, display mode, I like point, points only. Okay, and then I'm going to go in and start to create points. You can see my cursor's changed to the little pin. <clears throat> and you can see it's it's number in there, except it didn't hold the code, did it? So let's, uh, let's hit close, and it'll say, do you want to create the feature set? No, let's try that again. Okay, so now it's holding that description AC. And what I like to do is try and evenly divide my road so I get a shot on center. I also like to put a shot right there next to the, e, the lip of gutter so we can check the elevation on that 3D brake line. So I'm just trying to evenly divide this. And then I'm just going to space that out at something reasonable. And I'm going to try and create points at roughly the same um, at roughly the same intervals, which gets a little bit tricky. But Then occasionally I'll go in and just grab some spots around the kind of fill in around the curves. I'm going to go ahead and grab some right on the other side of this stripe. Then we'll go get, grab some on the center there. Oop. It'll beep at you there if you don't click right on a point. So I'm trying to keep these rows as neat and lined up as I can. That's not always super easy, but we'll do the best we can here. And then again, I'm just going to come in and fill along this curve. Just add some along the curve. Okay, I'm going to do one more row, and then I'll show you how we create those points. So when you're done, you can say, I've got, shows you I got 55 points. We'll say create. And it just created the set of them there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep working along the road. Now I've got some cars here. So I'm not going to be able to get spots where the cars are at. So I'm going to tag some points along the edge of the cars here. It's always good to scan when the parking lots are empty, right? <laughs> We didn't get to do that in this case. Okay, now there are some places where I can get sneak in here and grab some spots on the other side of the car. So I'll try and do that. 
It's just a good check on that brake line we've got there on the other side. Sometimes it's hard to get the brake line elevations exactly where you need to, so it's good to grab those spots where you can just to check that. Okay, and then I'm just going to try and line up here on these rows. And, you know, this is obviously way more than we would get with a ground survey, which is one of the reasons why we scan this to begin with. Okay, now, if you want to add a new code, so we'll go ahead and create that. Uh, we'll add a code here. Let me see what my code is for vegetation. I got my list here, so... I don't know that we have a great existing code for grass, so I'm gonna I'm gonna call this. Uh, let's see what our ground code is. All right, so my company uses NG for natural ground, so I'm gonna call it natural ground, and then. Uh, put grass in as a description you can see sometimes you got to hit enter for it to take that code and it, it held my point number here okay so now I'm just gonna oop, go in and grab some spots that I know are grass okay and obviously the elevations on this won't be as good as those that we're getting on the pavement because we're getting the top of the grass but that's all right for what we're doing on this job And I'm, I'm out at the limit of my sights here anyways. So I'm just creating some spots on the grass here. I know this has got some, ele it's got some elevate, whoop. it's got some elevation change to it. It's kind of a mounded landscaped area. So if it was flat, I wouldn't need to get this many spots. But. Okay, so we got some grass there now. So that gives you a rough idea of how to create your spot elevations that you need. I'm going to go ahead, go in and uh, hammer out the rest of these in, in the pavement and concrete areas. And um, I think I'll do, a, I'll probably do one more video at least in this set, show you how, to, how this data looks when you first import it into AutoCAD. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope to catch you on the next video.